For an aircraft to change its current orientation, flight control services are operated to change the current state. We will discuss the flaps, ailerons, elevator, and the rudder. Flight controls operate by modifying the camber and angle of attack of the airfoil. When a trailing edge device is operated down, more upward force is produced as the camber and angle of attack increases. When a trailing edge device is moved up, more downward force is produced as the camber increases and the angle of attack decreases. The flaps are used during takeoff and landing of the aircraft. When the flaps are deployed, the aircraft has increased camber and a steeper cord line. This results in the aircraft producing more lift as well as more drag. This is important during takeoff and landing when high amounts of lift are acquired at slow speeds. The ailerons on an aircraft are used to roll the aircraft left or right. Ailerons are operated in opposite motions. To roll left, the aileron on the left is deflected up, while the aileron on the right is deflected down. This results in more lift on the right wing, resulting in the aircraft rolling to the left. To roll right, the aileron on the left is deflected down, while the aileron on the right is deflected up. This results in more lift on the left wing, and the aircraft rolling to the right. When more lift is produced by a wing, more drag is also produced. When we deflect ailerons, the aileron deflected down has more drag produced than the aileron deflected up. This results in the aircraft yawing in the opposite direction of the roll. This needs to be counteracted by adding rudder control when deflecting the ailerons. The elevator on an aircraft is used to pitch the aircraft up or down in flight. When the elevator is deflected down, the aircraft increases camber and angle of attack. This results in less downforce, or even lift, being generated by the tail. This results in the aircraft pitching nose down. When the elevator is deflected up, the aircraft increases camber and decreases angle of attack. This results in more downward force being produced, and therefore the aircraft pitching nose up. A vertical tail on an aircraft traditionally consists of a symmetric airfoil placed at zero angle of attack. Therefore, at equilibrium, the vertical tail produces no forces up or down. When the rudder is deflected, the camber and angle of attack of the vertical tail increases. This results in forces being produced to the left or right of the aircraft. When deflected to the right, the rudder produces force to the left. This results in the nose of the aircraft being deflected to the right. When deflected to the left, the rudder produces force to the right. This results in the nose of the aircraft being deflected to the left. 